Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Bowden and you are watching The Buzz. So yesterday I got the chance to attend the 13th annual Get Lit Gala honoring Anderson Pack. Get Lit is a Los Angeles based education nonprofit whose mission is to increase literacy and energize communities through poetry and visual media. We got a chance to catch up with Anderson and some of the attendees on the red carpet who chimed in about this great event. Let's take a look. Congratulations on being not even nominated, but congratulations on being honored tonight. How did you get involved with the Get Lit organization? Well, they told me they wanted to honor me, and I was like, I ain't never been honored for nothing. Let's do it. <laughs> That's easy enough, yeah. right? Yeah, I love it. So how? what words of inspiration would you share, have you shared with the students involved in this organization? I haven't got to talk to them much, but I was just with a few of them, and I was teaching them how to take a good picture. Yeah. You got to keep your chin down. You know what I'm saying? You got to find the light. Yep. And the wings. And the wings you showed. I told them to spread your wings on this one. What's the significance of the, significance of the wings? You got to spread your wings so you can fly high, you know? You gotta make sure you're ready. Yes, I'm the National Youth Poet Laureate of the United States, and I'm here to give an award to Vans for their work um, in the community and helping you. Okay. So I'm really excited for tonight. Now you came through the Get Lit program. I did indeed, I did indeed. Yeah. Yes. So tell us about your journey with them. Yes, when COVID hit, that's when I actually started to take poetry seriously. And Get Lit is the organization that took me in with open arms. Okay. They are really the ones that helped me foster my creativity in a very original and unabashed way. Poetry is such a like. A sticky form that like if you get too caught up in the books too caught up in the rules of it you lose your own voice but get lit was really the the inspiring place that allowed me to create poetry that is very Salome and no one else it's not Shakespeare it's not this other person but it's Salome yeah. and I, I really appreciate them for being on my journey like this congratulations tonight Thank this you. is the 13th annual gala for get lit how did you get involved in the organization so I'm actually a board member currently um, one of my best friends Jasmine Williams used to be a youth poet in get lit many moons ago yeah. uh, and just to see it blossom and to see what Diane has done and cultivated for these kids and then to also see that my friend is now a board member mm -hmm. who brought me on to be a board member you know my experience with Get Lit was just watching my friend perform and you know give her critiques on her poems again at like 13 14 years old mm -hmm. so to see what Get Lit has done and become it's really special so I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to give back in the ways that I know that I can yeah. through my artistry through my support and encouragement for the next generation of artists and storytellers and poets you know so yeah. it's, a, it's a blessing to be able to do that because it's not just about us at the end of the day like right. I'm here to give back to these kids in the best way in the most authentic way that I can to yeah. let them be their authentic self so congratulations on tonight 13th, 13th annual gala for get lit foundation you are the founder how did all of this come about uh, um, I, love, I like spoken word. I was like, if I had it in my classroom, I wouldn't have been so bored all those years in English class. It would have made such a difference in my life. And we bring it to teenagers now. Yeah. And yeah. And speaking of bringing life to words that we're working on every day in school, the students are working on, how do you make poetry cool? Because, oh my God. you know, like you said, we were bored in the classroom learning about it. How did you go about making it cool and making it fun for students? You know, back when I started 18 years ago, it was like, these 12 poets are the poets that you can study. And I was like, wait a minute. I was an actress, and I was like, I, I, I knew Jimmy Baca and all these great poets, and I'm like, I want to bring Sonia Sanchez, and I'm like, I want to bring their work into the classroom to memorize and perform. And, and so anything dramatic as an actress that I thought the, the kids would love that was great poetry, I included it. And it was a game changer. Angelica, I don't know if you've had a chance to I interview her. To her. She's yeah. one of our classic poets. Oh, okay. Okay. And she's one of our most claimed poets. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's poets that are classic and some of, you know, Rumi and, and some of Hafiz and some of the poets are very old, but some are living and vibrant and alive and are speaking about things that kids care about. Yeah. So that inclusion of all kinds of great stories and poems from all kinds of people has just made it important and alive. To find out how you can donate or support the Get Lit Foundation, go to www.getlit.org. I'm Ashley Bowden, and you can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Ashley Marie. Yes, Lord, this is Anderson Peck. You've just been buzzed.